Are you stuck in your acting career wondering why others seem to be moving ahead while you are still standing still? Have you begun to doubt whether you were really meant for this industry? What if I told you that it's not your fault, but the fault of the strategies that you've been using? What strategies, maybe you say? Well, my friend, we may have stumbled across your actual problem. But now that you know what your obstacle is, you can actually turn that problem into a challenge and get yourself on the road to where you want to go. Are you ready? Let's get into it. In this episode, we are going to cover the importance of having a strong brand, how to identify your unique unicorn factors, and actionable steps to help you effectively market yourself. Look, here's the deal. Every second that you spend resisting the change you need to make is time stolen from the career that you want and deserve. What you dream of, it's within reach, but you have to do the work to get there. The universe isn't just gonna drop your perfect career into your lap. You have to think of your career like a bird. In order for that bird to soar, it needs two powerful wings. It ain't going anywhere with just one wing. One wing is your skills, your talent, your life experience, and that special something something that only you have, what I like to call your unicorn factors. The other wing is the business of being you. You became an actor so you could avoid dealing with that boring business stuff. I get it, I do. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you really wanna have meaningful success in your career, you have to treat it like a business. That means having a strong brand and a way to let people know where you want to go and not where you've been. In other words, you need a strong marketing campaign and a networking strategy. My client, Heike, had worked as a theater actress and director for over 20 years when she decided she also wanted to work in the film and television industry. But after transitioning, she had struggled for about three years on her own to get her foot in the door. She even had an agent but she was still barely getting any audition. Part of her challenge was that she wasn't sure how to leverage her theater experience for on-screen roles. And maybe like you, she never really thought of herself as a product. I mean, let's be real, who does? It's not very sexy to think of yourself like that, but it's the truth. And the sooner you recognize that, the faster you will be able to make the changes needed to get more opportunities for better roles. Heike struggled to understand her brand, her unicorn factor. But once we figured them out and leaned into them, she was on her way. Within two weeks of finishing my signature course, Get Better Roles, Heike texted me to say she'd been cast on three separate TV shows. She was rocking it. That's how quickly things can change when you get your messaging right. You need to understand your placement in the industry. What's your niche? It's as simple as that. What is your brand as an actor? I know branding can be confusing because we're complex human beings, not products on a shelf. But think of it this way. When you go to the grocery store and for example, say you're shopping for baked beans and you see all those different brands of baked beans and they each appeal to different audience segments. Some have beautifully drawn labels, while others have a picture of a pot of bubbling beans simmering on the stove. Even their price points, the marketing teams behind those brands have put a lot of time, energy, thought, and money into their product. Don't you think you're worth at least as much effort as baked beans? As an actor, you need to differentiate yourself, not by trying to be everything to everyone, but by leaning in to what makes you unique, your unicorn factors. That means stop trying to be different and instead be more of who you really are. This will act like a filter, filtering in the people who resonate with you and filtering out those that don't. Now I know that that can be scary, the idea of filtering people out, but it is a necessary part of the process. And know that when you are filtering those people in, they're really in, they're really there for you and what you have to offer. Look, it's not just about who you know, but who knows you and what you're capable of. Sending out newsletters to casting directors, hey, it's great, okay? 
But if they don't know what you can do, you're missing opportunities. So here are some practical tips to help you. Number one, define your brand. Identify what makes you unique. What kinds of roles are you naturally drawn to? What are your special unicorn factors? Once you figure that out, you're on to step two. Infuse your marketing and messaging with your unicorn factors. Make sure your materials all across the board are totally on brand. The best thing you can hear about your materials is, that is so you. Number three, network effectively. That means network smarter, not necessarily networking more. Once you know the kinds of projects that you're drawn to, you'll automatically be able to narrow down the people that you should be networking with. This will also act as a filter for you so that you're not just throwing spaghetti against the wall all the time, hoping something's going to stick. Number four, keep both wings of your career strong. You have to constantly reevaluate where you are in your career and get the help you need to make sure that your skills are top notch. Too many actors think that talent is just one of those things. Either you got it or you don't. If you really want to make your dreams come true, you're going to be out there competing against people who is spared no expense to get the training they need in both acting and in the business of being an actor. So, okay, maybe at this point you're thinking, yeah, okay, fine, I'll invest in myself just as soon as I get cast in something and I make some money as an actor. But that's not how it works. When you don't invest in yourself, you are basically telling the industry that you don't think you're worth investing in. And so why should a film or TV series take a risk on you if you don't believe in yourself enough to take a risk on yourself? If you make sure that both wings of your career are strong, you will already be ahead of 80% of the other actors out there. That means that you've just cut your competition down to 20%. Don't those odds sound a lot better? This fear often comes from not fully believing in yourself. If you're confident in your skills, then investing in yourself is a no-brainer. I have never regretted one cent that I've invested in my career. It has always come back to me tenfold. In fact, it wasn't until I started to invest in myself seriously that I started to see some serious results. Look, don't let small fears keep you from achieving your big dreams. I know change is scary, but it's necessary if you're not happy with where you are. You have to get comfortable with getting uncomfortable. You gotta step outside your comfort zone because where you are now in that comfort zone, you are not going to be seeing your dreams come true. If you were, then you would. Look, if you're a trained actor who's been feeling stuck for a while, then book a free discovery call with me. Let's figure out where your career has gone off the rails and how to get it back on track. Until next time, you stay your bold and beautiful self. Bye-bye.